Sechs. Sechs. comes up. I'm gonna blow him away.
shot you. Uh oh. Someone hacked into your prime sub. Oh, no. Ow! <clears throat> oh, no. Okay, let's go get this thing off the sh uh, get this thing off the road. It's time for the kill stream. Wow! We got a fun and crazy kill episode today. So get strapped in and get ready to go because it's time for the kill stream. It's your favorite show. It's back again on a Sunday morning. We really should be at church right now. What are we doing? What are we doing with this crazy stuff? I don't even know anymore. It's just all for fun, I guess. It's all for my entertainment and the entertainment of a handful of people that show up on every Sunday. Thanks for... Uh, and thanks for showing up. This is it. This is the cool church. Thanks for tuning in, making it all worthwhile. I hope that I can bring the laughs today. We've got a crazy, weird, cool uh, topic to cover today. You can believe that. That's right. It's the cool stream. We got a red alert today. This is going to be a dangerous topic, a dangerous show that, frankly, might, you know, we might get shut down for this. I don't know. We're spreading the truth. It's the cool church. We got huge. I love 5G. We're going to talk all about it. The ins and outs and all that stuff. I don't really know too much about it. I probably know more about the conspiracies. And I don't even know that much about it, about the conspiracy side of it. But we'll see what we can come up with today. We'll see what we can come up with on the cool stream. Yay! Wee! Yeah! Wee! -hoo -hoo. Time for the cool stream, baby! <laughs> It's time for the cool stream, baby. It's crazy. We got all your favorite sounds coming through. Uh, we're not, I'm not even gonna. I'm not gonna read what is being typed right now because then I'm really gonna get shut down. Okay, I'm talking about that stuff. Uh, we're gonna keep it light, keep it breezy and cool. Um, talking about 5G getting into the conspiracy side of things because damn it for too long we've had it too good uh, starting off the year with a couple of topics a couple of topics that frankly were just too much fun and somewhat educational though I don't think I learned anything or anyone else did but we did do we did do the show last uh, the week before last it's a Pope. And now there's been a bunch of stuff about the aviation. Got the 6G phone. I need one of those. I need one of those. I think I'm good with whatever I have now. I'm not even sure what network I'm on anymore. So... G, it's crazy. What's it all about? I barely understand what the actual 5G is about, uh, much less the conspiracy side of things, which we definitely want to get into. We're definitely going to get into because we've had it too good for too long with too many fun stuff talking about volcanoes and freaking other stuff 1h okay <laughs> fifth growed band five growed hertz interesting okay well we've got some videos to talk about it this is kind of a fun one we'll just go straight into videos because they're fun and cool 
It's what we like to cover. It's what we like to get ourselves educated on stuff on the internet. We want to see the freaks. There's going to be a lot of that. It's time for the cool stream. You know, it's in. It's in, we're in the depths of winter, and it's time to get back into the creepy stuff. Grow to hurts. Huh? It's a real thing. Grow to, Charles Groden hurts. It hurts that he, you know, is no longer with us. Is what I'll say about that. So anyway, we're gonna get into more creepy, weird stuff, conspiracies. I'm sick of these fun topics. It's time to get into the weird stuff. All right, enough of this. But this is kind of a fun. Good morning, friends. This is I'm um, Dewey, and my <laughs> I'm Dewey. This is a channel called Tech for Senior. So this will be a good explanation of the tech because it's for seniors to understand. They don't really know a lot. Uh, they're pretty stupid, so. <laughs> TikTok topic Dewey. for today is news about Dewey 5G C-band and electric vehicles at the Consumer Electronics Show. Electric vehicles. Airline and aviation officials have recently argued that frequencies covered by the 5G cellular C-band has the potential to interfere with instruments used in aircraft, and they contend that the deployment of 5G near airports uh -oh. could endanger takeoff and landing operations. Cellular carriers, the Federal Communications Commission, and the Federal Airline Aviation Agency have disagreed on whether C-band 5G signals using the 3.7, 3.98 gig gigahertz frequency Giga range Giga would interfere with instruments that measure in the 4.2 and 4.4 gigahertz spectrum. This is according to a recent article by David Lum and Eli Blumenthal David at CNN.com. Nearly 40 countries, oh, that's, including is that Australia, what you're talking China, about? David France, Dumb. Japan, Lay South Dumb. Korea, and Bill the United Lumen Kingdom Dumb. have already deployed 5G over C-band with G. no issues involving aircraft. Hmm. Last Friday, the FAA disclosed a list of 50 U.S. airports that will have buffer zones when wireless carriers turn on this new 5G C-band service on January 19th. Okay. And Verizon and January 19th. Buffer zones around airports to reduce the risk of disruption from potential interference to sensitive airplane instruments like altimeters. Once C-band okay. service goes live, on we're January live 19th, with 5G. Damn it! Verizon it's and AT&T customers should see broader 5G service with higher speeds that fall between the 4G and millimeter wave. 5G, which is blazingly fast. As blazingly fast. Because the new C-band service will be integrated into existing coverage. I don't think I'm getting customers that kind may of not service right now. They're connecting to the new. I'm in the 5G. Frequency. Verizon says it's new. That's what they—they they don't want you to know when you're. 100 million people. They don't want you to know when you're connected to 5G. Is what we'll learn here later on in the show. Uh, shortly, we'll get into that. Uh, I just remembered I didn't I didn't uh, talk about what I was drinking. I'm not even drinking it. What the hell? I gotta get jacked up. Anyway, having another one of these monster rehab. I'm the monster. It's coming out to play. <laughs> monster rehab. I'm in rehab right now. Tea and lemonade. This is the one that has... A lot of caffeine and also has uh, vitamins and coconut. Drinking from the can. Electrolytes and hydration and botanicals. Milk thistle. That's good for you. Feeling the surge. Increased concentration. That's what I need to get uh, all the funny stuff flowing and going. Just wait here a bit once we get that guarine and stuff. Then we'll really be pumping on all cylinders. But for now, we're going to listen to this old guy. He's going to keep talking about 5G. In the U.S. this month, <laughs> AT&T is similarly bundling Make its Make a 5G service antenna for service your monster cans. I'll give that a try. Wave 5G. 5G. According to the article at CNET.com, Verizon and AT&T still lag behind T-Mobile, which Damn. announced in November that 80% of its customers within its 200 million person 5G coverage area can access 
its mid-band 5G service. Damn. Mobile says its mid-band networks targets average download speeds of 400 megabits bits per second. Mega burps. That is amazingly fast. Holy crap, that's fast. A million mega burps per second. Uh, T-Mobile. So everyone get over on T-Mobile. Um, tell them the cool stream sent you. <laughs> this is Tech for Seniors. Tech for Senior. It's old people. He's reading the news. Tech for Senior. And they have a live episode. Well, let me click on the live episode as well. Because this is kind of an interesting channel. He's a very soothing voice. He's Mike old. Harrison, stupid. <laughs> the, author, the article author, the article's author's first Verizon C-band testing found actual speeds ranging from 400 megabits per second up to 1.4 gigab gigabits Gigaburps. per second when at the actual 5G emitter, <laughs> emitter unit. Remember, these were tests, special tests. This is only a test. The photo it right shows a Samsung Galaxy S21 5G. I thought that because it's tech for seniors, it would be like, here's the simple, dumb, dumb guy explanation. Um, but so far, it hasn't really been simplified in any way or explained. <laughs> He's just reading this. To Verizon C-Band test Pick network in downtown LA, Los Angeles. Downtown LA, Skid Row. Elevate. By the way, that's the $800 phone that Joanne and I each got free when nice. trading in our old phones at a Verizon the Samsung store Galaxy. Uh, last month. No December. senior can understand the this. Highly controlled tests also. The Samsung Galaxy, better watch out, um, sir. If you get too close to one of those towers and you got your Samsung Galaxy, you don't know what's going to happen. So watch out for that. So showed nearly 100 megabit per second in an underground parking garage. Can you imagine that? Imagine that. Ultimately, you need good 5G coverage when you go into the into the tunnel, into the big into Elon Musk's big tunnel. Um, let's check out the live episode. Let's see if we can get that up here. Let's see if we can pull that up here. Just to get a taste of what goes on in the senior, tech for senior. I love the tech. Uh, <laughs> tech for senior. The show is starting soon. Senior. Tech for senior. Whoa, yeah. Huey Pop or I guess it's sometimes <laughs> afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Sometimes. It is tech for It's Huey Pop It is, uh, the, uh, <laughs> I guess it's the 3rd <laughs> of February. It's, we're into Huey February Pop already. He's wow, into breakdancing. Cool. Uh, so welcome, and it is... Um, uh -oh. today, watch course, out. What's going on with your tech Baxter there with that alert? With us today. I'll talk to you Huey about Pop Lock. Them. I'll introduce them in just a minute, but I want to welcome the everybody bars. for coming. We okay, Tech for Senior Live is uh, is our show on Thursday where we good crew uh, Bob G Los Lunas sit and have some coffee. Los and, oh, uh, Los Lunas, New Mexico, and have a, New Mexico. Have a cup of Java and sit and talk and about Ron Brown over at Comox. And then we're going to go over know where that is. the news articles that we um, that we have posted. The news. Each of the four of us today have posted the news articles <laughs> this week on our Facebook page. And Turbo so if you are uh, out and about and you're and for the current in 2059, news, you may want to just pop <laughs> over to our Facebook page because that's where we keep all the current articles we post each day. Uh, what are they talking and, about? And so that's uh, that's what we're going to be doing They're today. talking and about the update in Gmail. Monday, which is we're going to be talking about Bitcoin and NFTs. Don't, don't know who we are. And I thought I would just introduce everybody. Um, of course, okay, let's get the uh, let's, let me talk about my. Then we got to get uh, back to 5G. Huey Poplar first. Huey, 
Huey's a Where break are you dancer. from? You're from the farthest away. Because remember, there's four lock. people today here, and we're oh, all across you. the countries, I guess. We'll have more than one country. Oh, so where the heck are you from? What the heck? I'm in Bradenton, Florida, just frick? south of Tampa and north of Sarasota. <laughs> Way. Yeah, and it's and it's balmy today. It was only it only dropped down to sixty five during the night, and it's going to eighty today. Great. Now, Huey, of course, is my co-host on Tech for Senior on Monday, so we have uh, wow. a lot of fun on our show on Monday, right? <laughs> Absolutely, we have a lot of fun putting it a together too. Yeah, it's a lot of fun doing that, and we've been doing that now. We're up to what is it, ninety seven <laughs> or ninety eight episodes? Almost coming up to a hundred episodes Damn. now. Yeah, it's about as many uh, episodes of uh, what one hundred and four is cool stream. Yeah, yeah it'll, be coming, it'll be season three yeah. pretty soon. Yeah, yeah. season three. <laughs> All right, and the next step, uh, next person as we move across the country, let's move. Across we have the a lot country. of fun. In snowy old New Mexico is Bob Gustisha, and Bob. You're not looking very happy this morning. You got to go and shovel some snow. What's going on there? No, 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 no. I don't shovel. I'm in New Mexico. Wait a couple of days, it'll disappear. Oh, really? Okay. okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. But this morning, white, white outside, and I woke up. It was six degrees this morning. Holy okay? crap! Yeah, right. We moved here from New York to get away from the cold. And we are That's a heck of a lot colder than New York has been the whole entire New season. Yorkers. So, yeah okay well there all you right. go all right <laughs> all right bob gastiliano that's him that's the tech for seniors thing he's a player he's a pimp. they have a lot of fun over there so let's see what's really going on with 5g we gotta get the um, we have to see both sides of the issue so we're, we're at least going to start out with trying to figure out what's what it is and then what it really is. What is 5G? Uh, it's the fifth generation of mobile networks. All right, it's the evolution of LTE, 4G, now it's 5G. So more data and connecting the community, faster connection, very important is the fast response time referred to as latency. It's the time taken for devices to respond to each other uh, we need to get it down to one millisecond. Virtuously instantaneous, opening up a new world of connected applications for all your favorite apps. When you're playing Candy Crush, uh, and you push that button, the candy is crushing. The candy is crushing and gushing left and right. Uh, 5G, we can connect instantaneously the Internet of Things to a truly connected world. Oh, yay! That's what we need <laughs> VR. The if, if we're getting in, uh, if we're getting in the metaverse, and we're gonna have all of our non-fungibles out and about, we get, we're gonna need to be connected. Virtual reality will be one part of that. <laughs> Gushing, uh, low latency connectivity, all that good stuff with your smartphone, your smart refrigerator, your smart energy. And your car, massive machine-to-machine -machine communication, the Internet of Things, potentially revolutionize modern industrial processes and applications, agriculture, manufacturing, and business communications, mobile broadband, faster speeds, mission-critical real-time control of devices, robots. Oh no, we need to watch out for that. Uh, the government can control my brain. 5G will enable the connection of billions of devices for our smart cities, smart schools, smart homes, smart and safer vehicles, smart, smart everything. I'm tired of how dumb everything is. We need it to be smarter. And it's not that I need to get smarter. It's everything else needs to get smarter. Like with livestock, and now they're doing... They're putting VR headsets on the cow, so they think they're having, they're out in the fields. Uh, put some 5G into your tractor and get all your crops going. So that's pretty cool. I guess if you don't need to connect all that to the damn, to Wi-Fi, that is pretty sweet. Um, it's hard to get Wi-Fi these days. 
can see my salad decompose in real time. When did 5G launch? It's expected by 2025, and the this guy said that actually it launched a month ago in January. Uh, the beginning of the broader rollout is January 19th. So we've already got the 5G. What do the 5G devices offer? Significantly faster. How does it work? That's what we want to know. The 5G network architecture. Um, this is going to be... It's going to be something to try to wrap my head around. Well, we got the local servers, the central server, the macro, the micros, the, uh, the small cell, the big cell. Uh, five, that's the 5G network architecture. And that's what all these towers are that you've been seeing around town, I guess. The small cell. The big cell, it connects to the big tower. Mobile network has the main components. Radio access network and the core network. That's in the cloud. It's a big cloud of ones and zeros floating around above us at all times that we can we can access with our phones. Uh, so we've got the small cells, the towers, the masts, and um, <laughs> the towers and the masts and and the poop deck and the all that good stuff. Uh, so that's going to connect in the building in your home system. Connect the mobile users and devices to the main core network. The small cells will be the major feature of 5G networks. Poop Dex, a handheld device you can use in the 5G. That's right. In 5G network. Particularly the new millimeter wave. Um, hmm, my brain is... I don't think the taurine and the guarine is really connecting here to get some of these jokes off, but the new millimeter wave, you know, Tom... Th that's when, you know, old Tom Thumb is waving at me, I guess. Because he's so damn small. Okay... The connection range is very short. Communication connection. Small cells will be distributed in clusters depending on where the users require connection. I require connection at all times. The cool stream. That's right. Monster quality joke. The monster is in. <laughs> Okay, we got your 5G macro cells. We'll use MIMO, multiple input, multiple output antennas that will have multiple elements or connections to send and receive more data simultaneously. The benefit to users is that more people can simultaneously connect to the network and maintain high throughput. Where MIMO antennas use very large number of antenna elements, they're often referred to as massive MIMO. And that's not... That's not massive... Mm, mm, poor go, mm, poor, what is it called? Massive multiplayer player MRPG mm. like a load of crap. Massive multiplayer mimporg. Mm, mm, <laughs> okay. Uh, mobile device. What is it though? Okay, so we have the server. It's a server in the cloud, is what I'm gathering here. And you, you've got your big towers and your small towers that connect everything. Network slicing. We gotta slice it up. 3G use Mimo. Mimo. And then we have network. Function virtualization, the ability to instantiate network function in real time at any desired location within the operator's cloud platform. Functions that use to run on dedicated hardware, for example, a firewall and encryption at business premises can now operate on software or a virtual machine. 
Whoa. That's interesting, I guess. You know about computers. It's all in the cloud. Um, but God help us if they ever shut down the 5G. If it ever... Someone cuts the wires and... Then all your firewalls go out. When 5G connection is established, user equipment uh, will connect to both the 4G to provide the control signaling and to the 5G. So it'll provide the faced data connection by adding to the existing 4G capacity. So we've got all, we've got multiple Gs now. We got 4G and 5G. When there's limited 5G coverage, data is carried on the 4G network. Especially with this design, the 5G network is complementing the existing 4G network. So we're going to have all different kinds of Gs. Massive Mimo. Hmm. Sounds good to me. I still don't understand it. Mobile spectrum... Um, Mobile, the increased spectrum in the MM wave band will provide localized coverage as the only operate over short distances. Future 5G deployments may use MMW frequencies and bands up to 86 gigahertz. I knew there was something about 5G interfering with uh, weather or something. I don't know about that. Does anyone know about that? That it's going to interfere with the weather uh, or the weather, um, whatever, satellites. Mobile spectrum showing the frequency range. The new 5G spectrum above 6 gigahertz. So here's the existing mobile uh, in this range of gigahertz, TV and Wi-Fi. But then they opened up the new spectrum the mm wave band to have more cells of uh, wi-fi or something fixed links and satellite uh, electromagnetic spectrum uh, that's okay i learned about that in, in science class the electromagnetic spectrum is um, x-rays and all that stuff Makes the Teslas crash. Oh no! Massive Mimo. We got the Massive Mimo and the Sector Antenna. This is uh, pretty complex stuff. Beam steering. Mimo. Mimo beam forming. Azimuth beam forming. Multiple beams are flying around. We got a lot of beams are going to be flying around. This one's going to go straight into your head, into your smartphone. Beam steering technology uses advanced signal processing algorithms to determine the best path for the radio signal to reach the user. Hmm. Massive MIMO base station antennas direct radio signal to the users and devices rather than all directions. So these are directed to something only a senior could understand. So this is a, these are directed energy waves. These are di the directed energy waves that we've heard so much about. Um, this is from the website, website EMF Explained. 5G and health. Um... What is 5G? Okay, we just learned it. We just learned everything. There's myths. Uh, can the mobile phone cook an egg? Simply no. That's too bad. Is it possible to cook popcorn using the electromagnetic energy from three or four transmitting mobile fans? Can a mobile phone cause an explosion at a petrol station? Mobile phones do not cause petrol stations to explode. Okay, that's good. That wouldn't be good. Things to explode. <laughs> EMF, the bandy blade, unbelievable. You're unbelievable. 
<laughs> You're unbelievable. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't know if I believe any of this stuff. So let's see if we can get to the real. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can get to the real meat of this. Um, they've been in conflict with the. Um, they've been in conflict with the FAA. That's been going on with interference and stuff. But there's other stuff about Domestic 5G air too. travel is hurtling toward a crisis beginning January 5th, and neither oh, policymakers no. nor the public seem to grasp the gravity of the situation. I don't know what the hell is going January on. January 5th is the day What's in which AT&T <laughs> is trying to commence operation of their 5G cellular services using <laughs> frequencies approved by the Federal frequencies. Communications Commission in 2020. However, the federal regulatory agency that oversees airlines has determined that cellular-based stations generating the 5G signals near airports 5G. could impair radio altmeters used by the pilots to determine how close they are to the ground. November 4th, 2021, the Federal but Aviation the Administration help? issued an airworthiness directive requiring that commercial and commuter aircraft cease relying on radio altmeters when operating in the presence of 5G interference. Hmm. That directive is due to take effect on January 4th, 2022, the day before AT&T and Verizon activate their Whoa, 5G networks. 5G if nothing activate. else changes, domestic air travel could be crippled. Radio altmeters play a critical role in enabling the safe operation of aircraft, especially when they are close to the ground, but the ground cannot actually be seen by pilots, like for example, in bad weather or after nightfall. The Airworthiness Directive thus has the potential to disrupt up to half a million flights annually, forcing airlines to cancel or divert flights traveling to airports with nearby cellular towers when conditions dictate use of altmeters. Good morning, huh. everybody. Steve Fletcher with the trumpet for my people. Today's okay. So the five G is interfering with these the certain type of radio radar that they have going on in those planes up there they're going to cancel more flights that's just what we need that's just what we need more flights to be canceled no one wants to work anymore either just my luck just in time for valentine's day I need to go get on a flight to visit my sweetie december 21st 2021 <laughs> the baby definite <laughs> And with this report that I just shared about the 5G services being activated starting on January 5th. I don't know why the um, free sound is still the bubbles. I tried to change it, but... The card of death! And the possible I tried to change it to something else, but... It Keeps going and back negative to the reaction sound. with uh, airline services, Federal IG Aviation activated. Administration. Um, we That's are watching the sound that it should be. Let me change January sixth through January eighth. Refresh this, and I think this uh, fits right in with this. It could uh, lead try that to again. potential blackouts in certain areas. Uh, could lead to potential even aviation avi aviation disasters. Um, there could be serious consequences go. with um, them actually activating the 5G services on January 5th. Now, They've already many people done are it. waiting for many people are saying some type of event, which many are calling the three days of darkness. Uh oh, and uh, this is pretty amazing that bubbles we are watching the most important day that we are watching is january 8th it's 1335 okay. days 6th, from israel's 70th baby. birthday Fourth it's day. also 2300 days exactly from the meeting of barack obama and pope francis <laughs> at the uh -oh. white house on the on the day of atonement september 23rd 2015 2300 days and it's the day that oh, yeah. venus Beans. Trans transitions from evening Beans. star to morning star through the inferior conjunction of what? Venus. Venus becomes 
Venus the Domino. morning star. Jesus said, I am the bright morning star. And that appears and begins that process on January 8th. So we have so many reasons we're watching January 8th. And this report coming out that January 5th. And January uh, 5th. Is the, is, forget about it. Not important. We're done. But January 8th, that's the big one. And it's already come and gone. That was about a month ago. So I don't know. The big, the big blackout was supposed to happen because of 5G or something. The activation of the 5G towers run by Verizon and uh, AT&T could be connected to what people are waiting for, expecting some type of event that will cause maybe a blackout, three days of darkness before the rapture event. So. Uh -huh. I don't want to speculate on what could happen or what may happen. I just I just want to share with you the connection between January 5th and January 8th. There's January 6th. He's kind of dancing around the obvious date there. A new day that will live in infamy that we'll never stop talking about. But he doesn't want to talk about that. I don't want to talk about that. Where's that play into everything? Connection. We've got uh, the, the 5G towers being activated okay and um okay. i'll i'll um i'll continue to watch this and see if we have more information coming in about this but i wanted to get this initial information out to you and uh, for your consideration i'll leave all the links of my previous videos in the description box Sex. I pray you guys are all blessed. <laughs> this is Steve Fletcher with the trumpet for my people. Steve, the, uh, is the trumpet of Reveal. my people. From Trumpers to Dumpers. Oh, yeah, this one's kind of crazy. I'm looking at a headline crazy. right now that says AT&T and Verizon to delay 5G deployment what? near certain airports after airlines' warnings. What kind of warnings have the oh, airlines what? provided? They pretty much said, folks, that they think their airplanes will fall out of the sky without actually saying it because they have no idea what kind of effect 5G is going to have on those airplanes. And, folks, let me just tell you something. They are absolutely right about that. Now, before I get into this, there have been a lot of people that have asked me about 5G. As a matter of fact, people say, hey, what the heck? 5G is already on my phone. It already says 5G. Well, you've got to think about it this way just so that you kind of get a lesson of what's going on. this way. They have pretty on. much set up the infrastructure necessary on? to push out 5G technology, but it's not quite there yet, if that makes any kind of sense. Uh, probably the best way that I illustrate this is if 5G. you actually have a freeway actually, and that freeway was equipped for... <laughs> Hold on. And if you actually... You actually know what the fuck you're doing. Okay. <laughs> vehicles that only went 15 miles an hour, and then all of a sudden you upgraded that freeway to be equipped for traveling of vehicles at 200 plus miles an hour. Biden was trying to upgrade the freeways with his infrastructure bill. Of course, we got the Jerusalem wallpaper going in there. That's good, always good to see. Well, no vehicles are gonna go through that freeway at 200 plus miles an hour because there are no vehicles. I will. That I will. I got a vehicle go 200 miles an hour. Can go that fast. You wanna bet? You want to bet on that, mister? I'll show you. I'll be whipping around. Uh, let me get a... <laughs> I'm not even... I don't even care about what's going on. I just want to do my funny drops. You want to bet? <laughs> I'm going to bet I'll be going 200 so, miles an hour. Uh, they develop a few of those vehicles over the years, and they start to test it on the freeway. But the freeway is still facilitating, for the most part, 10 mile an hour vehicles. Well, now the wireless uh, providers are I'll saying they're ready to start hour. running the 200 out. mile an hour vehicle. And that is going to involve <laughs> the utilization of frequencies that I can guarantee you will create lots of different types of interferences. And that's what the fear <laughs> of these airlines are all about. They're really worried about that happening. Now you might say, well, James, why are you bringing the, all of this up? I mean, why is this such a big deal to you? And why is this something mm, that's worth mentioning? Something well, that Jesus told us about. It's not that probably. big of a deal to me in that I know how technology works other than the fact that 5G is really, 5G. really, really pushing the limit. He knows how the technology works. Why don't you explain it? So far, I haven't quite gotten a grasp of how it works. It's in the cloud. It's directing energy waves at us and to our phones, to our brains. 
can monetize it. <laughs> What's going on? I need money. 5G is kind 5G. of like this type of technology that is so aggressive so that we aggressive. really don't la, la, know la, la, the side effects of la, what the la, utilization la, la, la. of that type of technology la, 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 is going to bring about. Now, the one thing I can tell you is that it's very likely going to make certain aspects of life very chaotic, the type mm -hmm. of things that we might not see uh, in front of us. I can tell you this right now, I won't be flying in airplanes mm -hmm. anytime soon. Oh, well, frick. Crazy requirements that they have to even fly keep me from flying in airplanes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, frick. Crazy requirements they have. Um, you got to take your shoes off. That's one of the big ones. I hate that. They really, I wish they would. If it wasn't for that, I'd probably go on an airplane if I didn't have to take my damn shoes off. But what I can't tell you is we are going to see some pretty massive changes on the technological front. And we know that knowledge is gonna be increasing. The ability to gain knowledge is literally- Knowledge uh, is power. Much faster than it ever was. And I can tell you this, once they get all the bugs worked out, we are gonna start seeing some changes that we never thought possible. Gotta get all the bugs worked out. <laughs> Not very fast with my sounds anymore, but. Once they get all the bugs worked out. And I can promise you it is going I'll to lay down the floor, the, the groundwork for what we know is going to be happening in the last days. And we are there. We're watching it, folks. We are watching it. And this 5G technology is very much on that front. It has the ability 5G. to change a lot of things. And we'll actually talk about this maybe in our roundup on Friday. We'll have a conversation about this. But it's pretty amazing where things are going. And they're changing radically. They're changing. So... Here's the bottom line. We see the signs. Stone cold we know so. Jesus is coming soon. If you're not right with God, get right with God. Just go to him. It's a simple a prayer. Bug. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins. It's an easy prayer. Let him change your life. Salvation can only come from his finished work. Seek him out because you don't want to be left behind. God bless you guys. come with his finished work. Um, this is... How soon? When is okay, Jesus coming? Okay, good afternoon. Please excuse my appearance. Please excuse I, my dear Aunt Sally. Uh, working out the shop today and been out in the uh, in the pasture a little bit today, taking care of a few things on the tractor. Jesus. But I wanted to cover a couple of things. My tractor's um, 5G is not connected. Now, let me say this, okay? Um, Get right with gore. <laughs> I am not an expert by any means on 5G, but... <laughs> At the same time, I'm not an idiot Sorry. about certain things. Okay, I uh, I Hold own a on. small this guy's company. Not that we have a machine shop, and I've been in the machine shop business for 50 years. So uh, I'm familiar with wiring and putting together three phase power. Well, I understand. We're actually the he's can he's an expert in wiring. We're not interested in that. We're we need an expert in wireless. That's what we're looking for. He's too, this guy's too wrapped up in his wires and his, his bips and bops and connections. We need a wireless expert. Uh, I understand uh, 220, 110, 440. It's got a nice workbench. Uh, 550, bench. I understand 5G, voltage. 6 g But voltage, we have to understand something, and I'm using this as a comparison. <laughs> okay, so if I'm wiring something like a Bridgeport milling machine, I need yep. to understand what other yep. machines I can put on the same breaker. So if I have a 40 amp power source going to a machining center, <laughs> uh, let's say that sagging. I have a Bridgeport no. mill and then I have a Bridgeport profiler and then I have a lathe. Okay. Well, it's called stack up. And if we have a lathe, stack lady, up of lathe, amplitude, lathe the uh, across my Bridgeport big. mill takes four to five <laughs> amps. The um, profiler has two bridge port heads and a hydraulic package. That's going to take about 8 to 10 amps. What does that have to do with 5G? I thought, um, from what I've understood thus far, is the 5G, 5G has to do with uh, radio waves. Like how I get my, when I tune into the radio, my favorite sports talk radio shows. But this guy is talking about it's all about electricity, which is a different type And then the wave, lathe, if I put that all on one lathe. breaker, that's another three to four amps. 
So PUBG. I can put all of that on one 40 amp break. Let's fire up some PUBG. Right. Now I said that to say this. <laughs> Uh, it Let's is not voltage playing some games. that I'm kills you crap. if you get electrocuted. It is amperage. The more amperage la, la, you la, have. La, la, now, la. the building that we have out back that we have our machine shop in, I have uh, 200 amps of <laughs> 220 power that we convert uh, the megahertz. to three-phase through phase converters. What does this have to do with 5G? I still don't understand. <laughs> But you can see you can see what we're getting into with his uh, his uh, screen back there. What he's what he's saying, or maybe it's what, the card of death. It's what he's not saying. <laughs> oh God! It's what he's not saying. That it's the tool man. This is that Tim, the tool man, when he's now, retired, uh, because he's getting into 5G. three phases, not... Um, okay, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. Mr. Food. Um, Ooh, it's so good. Oh. <laughs> okay, Mr. Food. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see, pull up some websites here. That should help explain it. Um... Tool Man, the 5G. Uh, let's see what this one has to say. Any, any men's territory. Back in the 90s, Minnesota Power was seeking to shore up its power resources, adding a backup connection to the grid. Uh, okay, plenty of people. There were a lot of people opposed to the wires, and then. Um, Full page ad appeared in the newspaper, paid for by these opponents to the, the big wires. I included a quote from a friend of mine who was the PR spokesperson for the power company. The ad declared how evil he personally and the power company were just for displacing deadly power lines across the land. The ad informed readers that 60 children and infants had purportedly died from the low frequency magnetic fields that were generated when strung across a reservation in Canada. Was it true? The power lines? Um, the article, there was an article about conspiracy theories related to the technology in general with regards to 5G. The, this article talked about the cancer caused by power lines. It's a major conviction of people in the 70s. Television and micro microwaves were believed to be uh, human health risks. The notion of having a cell tower next to our brains was leading to brain damage. In short, the article cited some different paranoias about how we don't understand technology. And I still don't understand the technology. I just read a bunch of stuff about it earlier. Jesus, this cord. Um... I once, let's see, this guy read a bunch of articles. I once wrote an article about how we're bombarded with radio waves and sound waves and other kinds of waves. Waves. You're, um, you're going to be bombarded with waves when you listen to this show. La 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 la. Because all my sound drops are in the wave format. Okay, what is this article getting at? Well, it's the Tech, tech Tuesday, the 5G Conspiracy. Um, and of course we had the wildly disorienting pandemic coming at the same time as the global rollout of 5G the newest technology standard for wireless networks it's only made matters worse 5G launched in China November 2019 um, is what someone wrote in a deleted tweet to her 4.2 million followers in March as the coronavirus spread throughout Europe Fears about 5G appear to have animated a rash of vandalism. People were burning uh, 5G towers in the UK in just the first 10 days of April. It's crazy. There was arson going on. Uh, so people are were afraid of uh, are afraid of the cell phones, uh, the Wi-Fi, the cell towers. Of course, there's cell towers everywhere. These damn things you can't. Um, they're everywhere and they're hideous. 
Every public, public urban place has Wi-Fi. We'll soon have small cell towers every few blocks. Whether or not you believe this will give you brain cancer, you didn't have a chance to opt out. And here's the bottom line. It's a complex issue. Wherever you stand on the issue... Uh, so this is just a blog about an Atlantic article. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad we read through that. Uh, do, 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 do. The Great 5G Conspiracy. Uh, it's all part of conspiracy thinking. Uh, we can listen to Autumn it. presents Something in the Air. Written by Caitlin Tiffany. Now this in the is, 1970s, the now boogeyman... Now this is handy. I don't have to read anything. They, just, they have these nice little... Uh, uh, Man was power lines. Low frequency electromagnetic fields were emanating from them all the time, and a shocking 1979 study suggested that children who developed cancer lived near power lines unduly often. Around the same time, because of Cold War panic about radiation in general, televisions and microwave ovens also became a possible human health catastrophe. Later, concern bubbled up around a, a slew job. of other household appliances, including hair dryers and electric blankets. Now, the advance of cell phones, and more recently, the new high-speed networks built to serve them, have given rise to they a paranoid have cool coalition who believe, to varying degrees, in a massive cover-up of deleterious harm. The devices are different, but the fears are the same. The radiation from the things we use every single day is destroying us. Our modern world is a colossal mistake. The stakes are about as high as they could possibly be. If it were true that our cell phones were causing brain tumors, that our wireless devices were damaging our I'm DNA, hungry. and that radiation emanating from cell towers was I'm sickening hungry. us in any untold number of ways, this would be the greatest human health disaster the world has ever known as well as, perhaps, its greatest capitalist conspiracy. It's too big to be true. It's too big the science to is confusing, but the World Health Organization, awesome. noting decades of research, has found no significant health risks from low-level electromagnetic fields. Yet amid a broader tech backlash against screens, against social media, against power consolidating in a handful of companies, against a technology industry that rolls out new products and protocols faster than we can keep up or argue with, against the general fatigue and malaise associated with a life spent typing and scrolling, it's just big enough to seem, to many, like the obvious explanation for so much being wrong. A wildly disorienting pandemic coming at the same time as the global rollout of 5G, the newest technology standard for wireless networks, has only made matters worse. 5G launched in China, November 1st, 2019. People dropped dead, what? the singer Carrie Hilson wrote in a now deleted tweet to her 4.2 million followers in March. As the coronavirus spread throughout Europe, fears about 5G appear to have animated a rash of vandalism and arson of mobile infrastructure, including more than 30 incidents in the UK in just the first 10 days of April. In the case of one arson attack in the Netherlands, the words fuck 5G wow. were reportedly found scrawled at the scene. there's going to be cussing in this. Mobile and broadband infrastructure workers have also reported harassment and <laughs> um, okay. That was fun. Uh, cell towers are people are people just don't trust the five G. It's been around bef since uh, this whole thing's been around since before all this too. Um, 2015, scientists sent an appeal to the UN are urging the health organization to reconsider guidelines for human exposure to the kind of radiation emitted by cell phones. 5G to be put on hold pending further investigation. 
It's watching on my fainting couch. You know, nothing wrong with being a little uh, wary of this kind of stuff, technology. So remember, I used to think lead paint and asbestos was okay to be around, so who knows whether this 5G will be good too. I think it's fine. I mean, we've already got 4G. We've already, we're already deep into all the different Gs, so I think it's we've pretty much... <laughs> We've pretty much, uh, and we've got electricity in our house. This is Wi-Fi and telephones. I mean, it's pretty much, if there was anything going on, um, I think, I don't think there's any going back from that now because we all like all that stuff. 5G wake up call hosts. The activist group NYC 5G Wake Up Call hosts Patty Wood, the executive director of, of nonprofit grassroots environmental education. Fracking. What the frack? I don't think the kids should be eating 5G either. What is this thing though? NYC 5G Wake Up Call. Let's check that out. Join the, the day of protests. 5G wake up call. Stop the tyranny. We shall not, we shall no be zapped. We shall not be zapped. Call me the last of an ancient breed. I still have a landline. I'm still on DSL. Well, there's your first problem. DSL, that's not good internet right there. You might as well just get on the fiber. I don't see what the difference is. What's the damn difference? Or cable, or whatever. You get cable TV. Oh lord. I don't know what this... I don't know what this is all about. Use a 5G wake up call. I have a landline. I'm still on DSL. I refuse to use a cell phone. Good for you. Verizon's fiber optic network service is not available in my building. My attempt to switch to Spectrum cable service turned out to entail drilling through exterior walls. A deal breaker in my aging East Village tenement. This means I have no choice. If you're living in New York City. Um. I'm sure there's a lot of other things that could be that could be poisoning you like um, like these damn millennials and their avocado toasts all right we've come to a stop here <laughs> we've come to a dead end let's um, we're getting we got to get into the real wild stuff I have websites I have videos, 5G, we're gonna get, we're gonna get, we gotta get off the deep end now. Enough of this, I've been tiptoeing around it. So we gotta get into the wild, weird stuff. <laughs> Basically, this is connected to the, this Deus Ex um, AUG incident. Uh, video I posted way back in uh, June. But, yeah, this, is, this game's actually um, very old. Um, <laughs> la, la, Deus Ex Mankind kind of Divided came out in 2016, but... What? Um, it's a video game? came out 
<laughs> this is a video Waiting game? For that. But anyways, um, and the original Deus Ex was like it's crazy early 2000s. So this Sex. is basically what happens Sex. in the world that augmentations put together. This is a video game? Basically there's a, a guy that um, uh, <laughs> activates bio chips, video game um uh, and on it, that, that are implanted in, inside every human being. <laughs> this is a video um, game? And when the uh uh, biochips are all, uh, activated, um, what happens is everybody goes mad. No, oh, frick. Okay, but what if that's not gonna happen? What if that's what if not gonna happen? That it's some type of nanotechnology that's already inside many people. How it got there, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not here to... <laughs> Say I'm well, stating yeah. facts because I don't want the fact checkers. Spitting me, facts but right here. Basically, I'm just trying to give out, uh, throw, throw ideas out there. Um, basically, possibly there's already now technology in a lot of humans, right? What is happening? So we're getting five G. Five G is getting activated pretty much everywhere worldwide, uh, major cities and stuff. <laughs> it's uh, so here we have a video of something very peculiar, right? Um, let me just see. I'm not making right, answer a quiz here. question now. So. Um, see the girl let's fire up Windows uh, Media Player and let's iPhone see what's apparently. going on uh, in this um, nail salon. Someone's going to bio... Their biochip's going to go off. This girl on her phone. Some very strange happens here, which is something that I call a remote shutdown. I don't know if this <laughs> girl died. I hope not. I hope oh, it was just God. a seizure because... I hope it, it was It looks like it's just a seizure, Good. but... Good lord. But I I'm just saying, God. Some weird, uh, very strange anomaly. Very weird. Very nice. Very nice. Pretty weird. Everything's pretty normal right now. She's on her <laughs> phone, she's looking out the window. There's this other strange lady here. I mean, <laughs> the, none of them are strange, it's just the situation is strange. <laughs> and if you see this black thing, this bias is built like this. Um, so I'm saying, you know, they're just sitting there getting their so That's how they on. do the. F Foot. That's why I knew the foot stuff. This guy doesn't I'm understand how the nail slides work. Uh, <sighs> um, she gets up. Uh -oh. She like kind of like uh -oh. gets distracted, and then uh, <laughs> what happens? She just frick. A lot of people are saying this is a heart attack. I don't think it's a heart attack. Um, it looks more like a seizure, but it's also resembling a uh, remote shutdown. <laughs> why am I saying this? Oh my this? god. And it gets very graphic, I'm not going to show it, basically, she okay, just collapses you. completely, and it, it gets very ugly, I don't want to show the whole thing. Well, thank but what you I do want to show is something very peculiar that happens here. Somebody gets a message. Have you just heard it? Somebody just got a message. Uh-oh, someone got a message. Wait, I'm going to hear this. Alright, somebody got a message, and then this, right here, there was some strange light that occurred. Oh my god. All right, you heard the message? Now look right here. Hold on, I'm gonna... Did you see that? <gasps> Her phone... I saw it. ...flashed. Um, for some weird reason, it flashed. Right as it flashes, what? it's almost like... It's almost like a remote shutdown. It's a shutdown. remote shutdown. That's the best way I can describe it. It's That's a remote the best shutdown. Way She's holding her phone. That. Humans, we're all electromagnetic. We have electricity I'm getting, inside of our body. I'm getting shocked all the time. You know how cold um, it is out there. And right after that, I'm getting shocked all the time. I got this new couch. And every time I sit on the damn thing, I'm getting charged up, shocking myself. Her phone did it. That's probably what it is. Check it out. Let's check it out. Look at her. Immediately after it happens, she starts remotely shutting down. <laughs> what does that even mean? We need to define the terms here at least. Of what it, I can, maybe I need to watch more videos on this channel to understand what the remote shutdown is. A normal shutdown, you know was that's normal shutdown i would say going to sleep okay okay um if it is a remote shutdown, the shadow that's files she's, then she's gone it's kind of like the cool files the or, shadow files or the phone caused her to have a seizure 
the shadow. And she's epileptic or something like that. Skin trail generator. Britney Spears. What I'm saying is, that's pretty good. If that's not the case, and it's <laughs> this is a pretty good channel, I gotta say. Uh, flat Earth, CZ guy, lizard neck. Here's a 5G update from the shadow. Shadow files. <laughs> I wanted more of the song. Heat waves. <laughs> heat waves. That you can and match them up. The variants. Um, so basically, <laughs> that's what I'm doing. Uh, I'm trying to oh, match these up and see if, if, if indeed that's true. Um, it's true, all right. So this guy says it's I'm not true, spitting it's any true. facts here. Um, you know, I don't <laughs> want the fact checkers coming after me, but um, we're gonna, you know, this guy is only at least spitting observe facts. it, at least look at the um, the intel provided and try to make intel. some sense of it. And, you know, look at the uh, intel you know, Pentium processors. Um, maybe maybe those are so doing got, 5G too. Um, inside see, of my I'm computer. not even gonna say anything. I'm just gonna basically let you guys, and I'll drop these two links. So you guys can do this for yourselves. Point at Finland as fast United as you States. can. Uh, you're right there. They're right there. And right. here's the heat waves. So you can't see my cursor. <laughs> this and is not my cursor. North. It's right there. <laughs> I'm pointing at Nothing it. You can't there. see so it, but I am pointing at it. This is 5G. Um, this is speedtest.net. Ookla. Um, basically all locations where the um, 5G's at. Ookla. Now let's... Um, Searching around, like Greenland, Ooh, for instance, here. Um, la, 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 nothing. Nothing in Greenland. <laughs> you think if it's cold there, something it's the boot. would be different. La, la, la. All right. United States, obviously. Let's go down to um, obvious. South Love America. You, yes. I like this. It's kind of matching up. You see something here on, the east, on, the, on this side. Let's see if that's here. Yep, that's up here. I mean, see scattered throughout. I mean, the big heat zones areas are starting to match up. Thank um, <laughs> you, guy. Let's down here by the coast. All right. Okay. Let's get back on track here. That was good, though. I liked that one. This is this is kind of a weird one that I found. Um, this is one. Do, do, do. This is from the an account called the Fullerton Informer, and they've got some good, good, good websites that we're gonna look at. They've got a Gab. They've got a BitChute, which is like a blogger thing that has lots of weird stuff on it, and a website called Five G Dangers that we'll check out. Thank you, Gaia. Thank you, Gaia. Um, anyway, Joe Embriano warned us in 2018, 60 gigahertz blocks oxygen uptake equals fake virus equals kill grid. That's, a, that's what a lot of people think about 5G. It's the kill grid. It's pretty freaky. <coughs> <laughs> pretty freaky. All right, folks. This is Joe, Joe Embriano here Brianno. once again. That's it. We're in a lot of trouble. You know, I don't know why people seem to think it's okay to let them get irradiated. Oh, no. No. I don't understand what's the matter with you people. <laughs> Do you the think hell? these systems that they're putting up the on hell? these towers you actually are there so you can watch doing? Netflix and play video games on your Love phone while you're taking a dump? Candy Crush. <laughs> Do you not realize what is in store for people right now? Do you realize what they're doing with this stuff? Do you realize what this stuff does? These towers are weaponry. These systems are weaponized. I'm gonna go over a couple things with you. Let's hear it. I've gone over a lot of things in the past, but I'm gonna keep hitting on this because it's not sinking in. This is Most hidden. people are in a trance. It's hidden hard. Most people are zombies. Most people are self-absorbed myopic children. Oh. Even though they're 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 70 80 years 90, old. 100, 100, they just want to go and stare at the TV and cuddle up with their little blankie <laughs> and stay on their merry-go-round and microwave their hot pockets. Folks, we are being herded into the compact cities. Uh, 
Oh my goodness, this is good. This is, there's a lot of good stuff um, in here in terms of the sound drops that I'm gonna use uh, <laughs> from this clip alone is insane. Microwave your little hot pockets. That's what's happened. That's uh, think about the, if the hot pocket was your brain. That's pretty much what 5G's doing. Stay on their merry-go-round and microwave their hot pockets, folks. We are being herded into the compact cities, and they're putting the towers in. They're putting now the they're towers. Going to be putting in the mic. The two towers. They are Eye of Saruman. We're turning us into orcs. Microcells. Instead of these huge towers, <laughs> he doesn't that are waste to in stay place, online. No, no, with no, no. power generating systems the, the size screen. of shipping containers next to them, oh, with cables four and five inches in diameter, capable of handling hundreds of thousands of volts. What for five watts of power? Are you He's freaking kidding me? What the frick? Okay, what's coming is a kill grid. Whoa! What Make no bones that? about it. These people tell your kids we're overpopulated. These people that run things, like Mr. Gates, <laughs> Prince <laughs> Philip, Mr. Rockefeller, the Rothschilds, all these people talk oh, about how to people. reduce the population to 95% down from what it is right now. Damn. We are in the midst <laughs> of a silent war. Sort of have a... They're not going to fire a shot, folks. They're yes. going to cook you. And they're going to no. do it with invisible radio frequency emissions. No. You're addicted to and in love with it because your junk works no matter where you go. You gotta have your texts, you gotta have your emails, you gotta check your Facebook. Look, I know, I'm a salesman, I'm on the road, I'm in the field, I'm in the office, I need to be in touch with people, people need to be in touch with me. I'm a researcher, I'm an activist, I need to be in touch with Prince people, Philip? people need to be in touch with me. But at what cost? Now, the frequencies that they're deploying are weaponized frequencies. I'm going to explain this to you. Microwave. Right now, Microwave. the Wi-Fi in your house is 2.4 gigahertz. That's the frequency that that stuff broadcasts on. Now, you can't open up a radio station without an FCC license. you got to have a license to broadcast, and you've got a license to be to access to certain frequencies to broadcast on. It's called Spectrum. They allot certain Spectrum to certain companies, and if you haven't figured it out, your parents and your grandparents were watching the idiot box <laughs> on the Spectrum that was opened up 80 years ago, the idiot and box. the radio stations and the TV stations are controlled by five companies. Now they're probably controlled by three or two. Ooh, it's so good. They've like. been feeding you lies for decades and decades and decades. Frick. What does he sell? <laughs> That's a good question. You can't broadcast unless the FCC gives you a license. Now, what they've done... You can't podcast? Yeah, you can podcast. Um, go check out the... the latest podcasting. I would say Podnut Media, but they are long gone. Um, that that's some crazy stuff. If you want to get into that, check out the cool files. <laughs> uh, Joe Embriano is this guy. Let's see. Maybe we can find his LinkedIn. Let's dox this guy. <sighs> Let's dox this guy. He's got some cool websites, though. I'll tell you that much. And I'm so far, I'm loving this video. Um. A lot of good stuff. Uh, let's see. Joe Imbriano. There's a couple of them. Uh, from New York. Maybe that's him. That sounds like it. Something about vaccine mandates. 20 years is a heck of a year. I'm blessed to be here. Happy birthday to John Carbonara. Best business partner, godfather, husband that I know. Okay, maybe he's a mobster. Here he is. <laughs> he sell. What does he sell? Well, he's selling a bunch of anti 5G stuff. I'll tell you that much. Is the most harmful frequencies imaginable? You know, the 2.4 gigahertz. That happens to be the frequency that the water molecules start to rotate on their axis when they're hit with the radio frequency emissions. Of Weather that warfare. Frequency. Why are they messing with the water molecules? Well, Gerald, Gerald we're Ford. at 70% water, and they know what this <laughs> stuff does. So what the FCC mm. did is they opened up that frequency <laughs> band, that part of the mm. spectrum, to everybody. You don't need a license to broadcast on it. And you know what that did? That virtually ensures complete proliferation and saturation of radio frequency emissions in that part of the spectrum. In other words, 
they want to bathe you in the frequency that messes with the water molecules. Oh, Is that a good idea? That's not a good idea. Maybe you're not aware of this. I'm not aware. So they got you addicted to Wi-Fi and okay. your gadgets. Uh, yeah, my gadgets. They're doubling down now because they're coming out. They're doubling the down. Frequency. They're coming out. KFC's coming out with this sandwich that... And get this, and you're going to be addicted to this thing. It's got the chicken as the freaking buns on this thing. It's insane. Cheese in the middle. Because they claim you can't you get, get enough of your Netflix and enough of your Yeah, stupid... we need... We'll have to... Um, before the sh before we end the show, in half an hour, and I've barely even scratched the surface, surface of this, to look up some 5G blockers. There's a bunch of that stuff, too. EMF shields and whatnot. Yes, they're all shilling their crap. Movies or whatever you have to check that these frequencies are getting congested. There's too much traffic. Too many frequencies. Too much frickin' hogwash, folks. Frick. Everything works just fine right now. The systems that are in place with these towers is so overkill, Everything it's not even funny. Works. They could run 100,000 times more devices than they're using right now. They got you they addicted got you. to these devices. Now got they're going to bring new technology out. This really scares me to go into this because uh -oh. this is the end. Oh, They've opened up, the FCC's opened up the millimeter wave band, and they're going to be broadcasting oh, no. on 60 gigahertz, folks. Thanks. Wi-Fi right now is using the frequency of water molecules. Hmm? Their their rotation on their axis begins at 2.4 gigahertz. In other words, that's that's the spot on the spectrum sweet spot. of the trillions of frequencies. That's the spot on the spectrum where the maximum dielectric loss of water begins. That's a fancy term for when they start rotating, trying to line up to, to, to keep pace with the alternating, alternating field, electromagnetic field. So it causes water molecules to vibrate on their axis. Well, they're going to use 60 gigahertz for the new 5G and the new Wi-Fi. It's called Y-Gig. Y-Gig. Okay? You need to understand something. My gig. This stuff is Insane. wicked. <laughs> because Hell 60 yeah. gigahertz is the it's oxygen fast. molecule Very nice. absorption Very nice. spectrum. What? I repeat that. This is the frequency that the wa that the oxygen oh, molecules oxygen. start gig. reacting to. So they're using Wi-Fi to mess with the water. Okay. You're going to use Y gig and 5G y to mess gig. with the oxygen. Now, this crap uh, doesn't travel far, so they got to put them really close together. They're going to put these little transmitters all over the light poles, telephone poles, light poles, public buildings, light and you've got to put it in your house. You've got to put it in your house. Because the crap's not going to work. And I keep saying crap because this is crap. It's a weapon. And mm -hmm. they're going to get you to go to Costco and bring it home in big boxes, and you're going to put it all over your house Bongos. because you're stupid and you're <laughs> not listening to me. You need hey, yeah. I'm not stupid. I am listening. I am listening. The oxygen, I don't even understand. The the gigahertz of water or something um, sounds like a bunch of bunk. But here's his website, Apple 666. <laughs> Isn't he 666? Everything you've been told is a lie. Joe Embriano is the Fullerton Informer. Because uh, you have a right to know. That's a good way to get people listening. You're stupid. Everyone, uh, ever, uh, you're too busy eating your Hot Pockets with your damn microwave. You don't even know because you're an idiot. So here we go. This pretty much sums it up here. Of course, this was... Um, he posted this thing in February 10th. Smashing a TV. Yeah, what does this guy do for entertainment? Just reads the books. Wuhan. Oh, man. Man, oh, man. So here's... Uh, here's his post all about COVID. Um, great. Uh, something weird's going on with the formatting of this thing. I can't really... Can't really read this. Coronavirus. Secondary infections. This guy was going off. Mass cremations. 
Does a sudden surge in SO2 levels suggest a huge surge in cremations? Holy crap. Super spreader. Dang, that's that's creepy. Just remember all this fear porn. I remember it. Fear porn. Sex. Five G. Um, he's got to work on his formatting here. Can't read this crap. Darkness dawns on Fullerton. Flory's back in black. Jeez, dangers 5G exposed. Um, there was something also where people found a millimeter wave. It ended up being um, a guitar pedal. Guitar pedal schematics that they were looking at. I'd like to. 5G. Happen. And for millennia, how they've been able to do such horrible things to people. And by the time people figured out what was being done, it was too late. Of course, here's, I guess these are the latest posts on the right-hand side. Oh, you're, <laughs> I thought you were joking. Smashing a TV. Okay, let's check this one out. <laughs> here he is, smashing a TV. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what you're about to witness here... <laughs> You're about to witness is what needs to happen to every one of these in the entire country because as we show you what the solution to this problem is i'm sure you'll agree yeah smash the damn with what thing. we're about to show you lies the keys to happiness Let's do it the keys to a long and healthy marriage a life of health weight loss well and more free time to get stuff done around the yard you might Probably want to smash other stuff. You probably want to smash your phone, I would say, first. And, of course, to spend with your I children. I think the TV is fine. And maybe even read God's Word. Oh. But the problem is... Let him smash. This device... Let him smash. ...controlled by the deniers of Jesus Christ has become a god. Oh. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is an altar. Oh. And I would like to take just this moment to show you how we solve this problem. Here we go. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Again, ready? <laughs> he got it at Costco. <laughs> He's smashing that damn thing. Now, this can't hurt anybody anymore. <laughs> Go off. <laughs> oh, he smashed the damn TV. Joe Biden's going to die in office. Our prophetic word for our time. Jared Ford. Oh, my God. This is crazy, crazy stuff. So let's see the 5G, 5G dangers. He had another. He's got another 5G website, 5gdangers.com and wifi-dangers.com. I don't know what the Fullerton Informer what that's all about. We may have to come back to this guy because he's got a lot of interesting things to say. <laughs> he lost his damn mind. You know, you can smash a TV, that's fine. <clears throat> 5G is a series of carefully chosen... This is what's going to get us banned. The algorithms are going to hear me saying the, the following words. 5G is a series of carefully chosen weaponized microwave and millimeter wave frequencies that will induce illness that will be blamed on a fake virus to facilitate forced vaccinations. All right. If you're gonna ban me, do it. Just do it. It's not, these are not my words. These are words of this guy, the Fullerton Informer. Great hit of hair on this guy, we've all said. Banned YouTube videos, controlled opposition agents. Holy crap. Um, 5G is a war on oxygen, a war on iodine, a war on iron. Um, 
War on hemoglobin. And a war on the central nervous system that will cause illness that will be blamed on a fake virus to force vaccinations, just as I described two years ago. It's in this video that we were just watching. You need to understand something. You need to stop killing yourselves, okay? That's what these people have managed to get you to do. And this guy, what's well, um, uh, interesting, and this, it, this is not a new thing for old Joe. Okay, he didn't just come across this, across this, um, just because of. He's been on the, he's been on the case from the very beginning. <laughs> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today is Thursday, he's September twentieth, two thousand eighteen. Very beginning. This is Joe Embriano, the Fullerton informer. I'm coming to you live from the streets of yeah. Orange County, uh, Fullerton, California. In spite of what they've tried to do to Orange County, California, it's still a beautiful place to live, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. And all the weaponry has not been deployed yet. <laughs> it's still relatively safe here. Oh, God. The weather's fabulous. It's really fabulous. You can't beat the climate here. Everything grows 12 months a year. You can grow plenty of food, <laughs> fruits, vegetables, grapes, citrus. Grapes. 12 months it's a great. year, oh, I have fresh citrus, fresh fruits. <laughs> Fresh grapes. Me too. I got a Kroger. I've got grapes all the way from June to Bars Thanksgiving, and ladies and gentlemen. All right, that's cool. But I want to talk to you about something. Pretty to you cool. about something that's about to destroy all of that. Pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And that is pretty cool. the radiation systems that are coming, ladies and gentlemen. The radiation <laughs> systems that are coming to Southern California, Thank you. and they're coming to a this city is, uh, near you. <laughs> this guy is definitely getting his own episode. <sighs> I don't even have even... I mean, I barely have enough time to get through the rest of the stuff, much less all of, of this guy's websites. This guy's a lot going on, so we'll come back to that. Joe Embriano. Good find. It took me a minute to really get my head wrapped around the 5G, because when you Google it, all the other stuff comes up. The Atlantic and all these different websites, and I'm like, okay, that's all well and good. They don't want you to know what's going on, so they don't. They make it difficult to search to find the real stuff. Thank God we have our friend Joe Imbriano to tell us about how the fruits. Um, he's the new Rob Skiba. That's right. Rest in peace. Miss that guy. Um, so yeah, it's yeah. It's, if only he had a sci-fi show that he was working on or something. But I think he'll be a good. He'll be a good uh, stand-in for the late Rob Skiba. Rest in peace. Five G antennas with the same capabilities of military-grade weapons. I wonder what Joe has to say about that. About directed energy weapons. That. Uh, supposedly caused a bunch of those forest fires. I don't think about that for a second. Um, so you can... Uh, 5G is causing all kinds of stuff. Susceptible radiation and fetuses and all that stuff. He has a special knowledge, that's right. Wireless radiation has been linked to cancer, heart disease, diabetes, miscarriages, birth defects, and infertility. To their external anatomy... <laughs> mail these things down your speaking of your grapes your testicles uh, are susceptible <laughs> due to their external anatomy that's the on, only um, uh, there's other external I think most anatomy is external if I'm thinking about it in that way like my toes and my you have an Audi, you have an Audi belly button, or you know your nose. That's external anatomy, but it has to do more with the things down there between your legs. Sex. <laughs> oh, no, watch out! Don't put your phone down there. 
And if you're a if you're a lady, if you got those kind of parts, you're all good. It can't none of the radiation can get up uh, get up in, in there. So, <laughs> okay, getting a little weird. All right, so anyway, you can print off some of these flyers uh, about 5G radiation poisoning. Proposed 5G networks are not needed. We've got all these weird towers. Print, drown, download the printable flyer and go to your latest um, community council uh, meetings and hand out some flyers is what I'll recommend here. Let's get to some more videos. Um, interesting stuff, 5G. Really interesting stuff we got here. Um, the Fullerton Informer, of course. He's got all the good hey, what's info. what's up, guys? Let's this take guy. a minute to talk about old Bill Gates. This guy's got all the info you know? as well. First off, go ahead and do me a favor, Google who is the most powerful Halloween doctor fun. in the world? Promise you it comes up Bill Gates. I Dr. promise you Fauci. does. Didn't know he was a doctor, Dr. let alone Fauci. the most powerful, you know? Jeez. Jesus Here's another fun Christ. fact. Apple, Jesus. their symbol itself is Google. symbolizing the bite out of the forbidden fruit. The fruit <laughs> that God specifically said, Trust Google. do not eat that the serpent coaxed, coaxed them into eating. <laughs> That's their, their logo. I'm also going to tell you this. The first Apple, Apple computer I sold for $666.66. You know why? Because they said they like numbers that are the same. Well, why a bunch of sixes? Huh? You know? A bunch of Satan sixes is what it is. A bunch, bunch of Satan Satanists. sixes. I hate. I'll also tell you this. Hope Bill Gates Sr. in and that uh, Ruth, what it, the red, green, blue, Ruth RGB, Spader whatever Ginsburg. the fuck they call her. <laughs> They're the ones that started Planned Parenthood. Oh no. Another fun fact. Bill Gates did facts. not invent the Apple computer. It was already a creation. It was a computer that somebody else created. <laughs> Wait, what? Bill Gates? No, he didn't invent the Apple computer. That's Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs died because he didn't believe in medicine. He'd probably be a... Uh, if Steve Jobs was still around, he'd probably be one of these anti-vaxxers talking about how you need your ivermectin can't tell you who right now didn't do enough due diligence anyhow hey that's okay the, uh bill gates mom bill gates she, mom. she's seen she was already they were already in with the government obviously yep you know so she done seen it in said oh yeah hey <laughs> she done here son it in. go buy this computer from this jackass <laughs> and then we're gonna sell them exclusively to all the government agencies nowhere else just exclusively to the government and that's right. how it started, you know. What about started IBM? going to the government. What? <laughs> yep. Go buy this computer from this idiot and go sell it to the government. And he's thinking about IBM because that's they have they um have a lot of computers. Also, uh, I don't know. Same folks that damn so yeah. Damn him and old girl almost, started Planned Parenthood. His mom gets in the Satan <laughs> computer into the government. <laughs> Also, a computer from this idiot. They were looking to uh, Jordy right. Rhodes. Okay. Jordy Rhodes, he's the one that Jordy invented Rhodes. the D-Wave computer, which mirrored backwards, it spells demon. What? But uh, what? yeah, he he invented that, and he's <laughs> come forward and said that there ain't no, well, they can't shut it down. It's its own entity at this point. The what? That, and he's come forward and said that Who there ain't this? no, well, they can't shut that. Invented the D-Wave computer. D-Wave. Mirrored backwards, computer. it spells demon. What? But uh, yeah, he he invented that, and he's come forward and said that there ain't no, well, they can't shut it down. It's its own entity at this point. Jordy Rose. So I mean, the AG, uh, the but D trust your government. Computer. Trust your government. CDC, everything they say. Hmm. Yeah. Jordy Rose. Wear your mask. Wear two masks. Fuck it. Go ahead and wear twenty masks. Do yourself a favor. Keep yourself safe from me. Yo. Yep. Well, uh, Quantum computer. I can't see him. More damn, more 5G damn towers. Frick. Golly, man. Golly G. I mean, they're throwing them up Willikers. everywhere. Everywhere. And it's everyone that's doing it at night. No, wanna, the fuck they're not. Makes me they're doing it during the fucking day. I see it every fucking morning almost. 
throwing one up here, throwing one up there. Man, you, you go to the middle of the woods, you think you got away from everything. No. no. There's one right there as well. Makes me you can't get up. away from it. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. <laughs> but yeah, you can't get away from the 5G. It's there. It's always there, but it's in. And like I said, a lot of folks, oh, well, they're, the they're, truth they're doing it at night smile. when nobody truth knows. No, you sight. fucking know. Everybody fucking knows. <laughs> you see the cruise, man. I'll, I'll, next time I'm, <laughs> I'm around, I'll video one. Yeah, I've seen the cruise. Tom and all the other ones. Penelope. <laughs> Go interview the guys and see how they feel about it. See how long they've been doing it. Because they say you can't work in there but so many years because all the radiation and everything else messes Brick. you up so darn bad. <laughs> He's just going on a rant here. Angry Alansky. Uh, another guy that likes to rant about is this guy. <laughs> He's pretty weird. What's this guy? What's his deal? 5G, you know, the, the <laughs> industry, and again, Bill Gates is deeply involved 5G. in 5G. the hell is wrong with his voice? You know, putting in Sorry if that's insensitive. Uh, I think 500 to make fun of how he uh, sounds. And, I don't understand. Um, and tens of thousands of ground know. antenna. And the purpose of 5G, what they, if you look at the glossy I'm ads that they have on TV, they're kind of suggesting to you that it's going to change your life to have 5G. Does he have, like, the... Di the Diane Ream, you know, from NPR, where you have sort of a, I don't know, just got something going on with his voice. And you ought to think about that, because why are they investing a trillion dollars to so. give What's you, that called? So, so that you can download your video you games, download your freaking a couple of brain faster, to the computer, or that you can download movies a couple of seconds faster. Does that make any sense to anybody? You know, nobody's going to pay that money for that. Uh, 5G Diane has Reed. zero to do with giving you faster downloads. It is a, it is a completely it, it is a system that is completely geared toward harvesting human data. Uh, what it does it about is what they call the Internet of Things. Spasmatic uh, dysphoria, also known as laryngeal dys dystonia. And poison person poison's voice go into the period of spasms. Maybe that's what he's got going on. It allows things to oh, interconnect. Yeah. So you're if you have an Apple Watch, all the data from your Apple it's Watch got a lot of books. <laughs> is going to be available now, and it's going to be sorted, archived, and characterized. Your health data, if Alexis is in your home and hears you cough. If Alexis is if, in my you know, home. These devices are listening to your cell phone and listening to you all the time. The device is listening and to your all cell all that phone. information. I, and if Alexa hears you cough, then the damn hazmat guys are going to show up knocking on your door. Let me in. Again, the Alexa the hears you call. Train. You're done for. They're going to initiate the kill grid and you're out of here. <laughs> you are out. Afraid to say it. You're, you are yesterday's news, my friend. As soon as Alexa hears you, you are gone. Somebody send the kill signal. Um, of course, uh, there's a lot more disturbing stuff as further we get into it. Well, hello again, guys, and uh, this is Vincent Rhodes, and uh, thank you for tuning in to Truth Set Free. And uh, we free. are checking out uh, Dr. Rashid Butler, Buttar, rather, I'm sorry. And uh, he Buttar. is a doctor <laughs> who has Ordered friends in New pizza. York that have examined some of the people who've come in for the uh, COVID-19 or remote 5G shutdown kind of, um, well, Alexa what's been going remote. on with 5G. And so Alexa remote shut down. Let's see if that does anything. And then your friend sitting next to you bonk, bonks out. Uh, the doctors there are not 
treating it like a normal virus. They're not using okay, antibodies. I don't want to get to virus stuff just yet. Let's get we'll do that later on a different show. It's time well, to hi get into everybody. It. Um But um it gets in uh the more I read about the five G got into another another realm of some disturbing stuff that uh is kind of upsetting which is the people the targeted individuals i had um, a message which from is a something i don't know if i feel comfortable covering who has but, a you know. full cybernetic system in their body 5g protection I okay do. we gotta get My to that does too. and mother does freaking shows now, this is over. actually very common anyway that's uh there's targeted individuals of course um let's check out people some of these British people. Good afternoon, people. I thought I'd bring you something nice for the new year. The new year. Notice all uh, the new pavement. Considering this is a major route to a massive school just across the road there. Other side that roundabout. Look what we've got here. Oh, look at this. Yeah. All brand new. Nice. Sneaked in just recently. Wow. It used to be a 4G mast. Normal telecommunication, but look at the equipment on look that. Look at the freaking things. Insane. All brand new tarmac. Look at that. Look at that. 400 volts. All brand new cabinets, look. Wow. Impressed. He's not impressed, I'll tell you that much. Look at them all. Oh, well, they use Lovely, ain't they? Oh. Look at the security on that. Oh, no. They don't want no one in there, do they? It's because it's got 4G in it. All part and parcel of the new weapon for the new year. <laughs> oh, no. When I used to be a street lighting engineer, we had to get these towers switched off before we even I attended know. them. But look oh, at this. Okay, nah. This be to kill people. <laughs> you see the school playing field That's over there like with it. the goal posts, rugby posts. Rumpy dumpy do. You think how many children walk past here every day on the way home from school? Oh, no. Nah. Bloody criminal. Bloody hell. Plucker the flump dump. Hey lads. You all right? What's all this? British people love to What's all this? harass the guys What's installing this, the 5G. Don't What's all this? Bollocks. Oh, what the fuck? What are you for? Telephone. I've, I've been reading about this with the 5G. 5G technology. I thought it was, it was designed as a uh, weapon. Oh, I got the wrong topic. By a, a, a millimeter wave band. Damn it. Microwave. And it's very, very dangerous. They're microwave. You know anything I about that, I forgot no? something. Microwave. Somebody talking to you. Must be something wrong if you don't want to talk about it, mate. Me? A lot of people looking into this, you know. You probably don't even know what you're doing. And if you do, you're just doing it for the this. money. Hey. People are getting damaged, you know. What's getting all this, and then? And this stuff. People are getting cancelled on Twitter. And these, these people who, who install it, they don't care, you know, as long as they're getting paid. Well, can you Ask blame them? Can Ask you... him how long he's been putting these in for. How long have you been putting these in for, mate? <laughs> Good lord. Can you blame him? You know him? it's dangerous to the public. What a fucking... You know they switched the millimetre wave up? You know, a lot of people have dropped dead like they tested it in Wuhan and blamed it on COVID. Oh, no. Some people dropping dead is when you were testing the system out as a weapon. Oh, and you wouldn't know that, would you? Oh, my God. Too busy working and earning money. Don't know what they're doing. It's not their fault, lad. Right, thanks, mate. For nothing. <laughs> oh, no. These British guys really... I really don't like the towers. There's huge vultures on top of 5G tower. Wow. 
once again. <laughs> Did what he can. We fall in stone the five G, ain't ya? Isn't it? Reminds me of the gargoyles. Gargoyles. It's cool. I love the big towers. Gargoyles. I love the gargoyles. There's oh, one of a drone melting as it goes. Let's go at this tower. That's not good. No. <laughs> um, that's on fire. Please, no smoking. She did. Tower cool. melted the drones. Right here next to their church. Jesus. Pay attention to all of that. It's on TikTok, it's true. Look at them. Pushing out negative radiation, negative frequencies, low vibe, low frequencies. Frequency towers. This is what they use to make their weather University of Conscious Minds. Radiation. <laughs> I didn't make it. That's the Revel University of Conscious Minds. Uh. Why not a postcode now where I've been given oh, here we go. from Some people who actually guys. take down 5G towers? The rules are, the terms and conditions I didn't are, make that. my face <laughs> has to be covered. I'm not allowed out the van, and, and their identity will be changed. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, it's the day in the life of the 5G. So this is for anybody who wants to take It's the day in the life of the 5G protest. I'm always getting I can't I can't catch a break. I'm every episode it seems like I'm doing a cancel cancelable. So obviously offense. first things first you told me to um change your identity, which I'm gonna and keep this over I need my the head. Good signal in so church. we can start I've just got in here. The first thing what I can smile is petrol. And I've seen your soul shirts in the background with the balaclavas, so obviously you've got a team to do the missions Petrol. of what you're about to do. Yeah, all my guys, they, they know the drill and it, and, and we basically just got a shitload of petrol on deck to eradicate this problem and get rid. That's how we're doing it. So obviously, I'm not going to talk too much there because you told me that you wanted your chance to speak to the camera and tell the people what you know about this 5G, so tell them. Well, in my opinion, this 5G has got a big part to play in all this coronavirus bullshit. And, and you can and believe what you want to believe, basically. But oh, that's yeah. how I feel. Like. I'm not trying to be on camera and talk too much. You can do the research for yourself, you lazy bastards. Or you can <laughs> fucking just rot away in your homes and, and, and believe what they tell you to believe in it. But we got to go. And, 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 <laughs> yo, we got to go, guys. We can cut this short and... and oh, that's all. Pretty fun. Alright, and this pandemic is one of the biggest things that I've ever stumbled upon in my life. And did you see it coming? I definitely didn't. And, and that's, that's a fact. Leave it to one of the other cheek as much as you like and say, hitting away like they're telling you to do. But you're gonna die in your homes. You're gonna die like, like a sheep. And, and that's how I see it. I'm pissed. I don't know about you. I'm in the back of this fucking bag. I'm, I'm, I'm masked up like some dickhead. And you're a dickhead even more so for being sat there on your couch just listening to everything that you told me. Turning over to you. I'm out here trying to do something right. You think I want to be here? I don't want to be here. This is the last place I want to be. What the hell? This guy needs to stop complaining. I thought he liked. I thought he liked blowing up the 5G towers. Now it's. Oh man, 
in the fucking back of the van. I hate this. Well, maybe go do something else. Family, but fuck no. I got to do something. I got to get up and stand up on my own to and do something about this situation. As we get closer, I can feel the tension building. And he still wasn't finished talking. <laughs> you don't shut the hell up. <laughs> seems very fake. I don't think if, uh, I think if this guy was. These times are coming. We really... told you about them, but you motherfuckers were sleeping. Now. now you gotta wake up. The time has come. I think he would Low be key. not talking yeah. at all. Immortal technique. Key. It's time all to blow this mf -er up. Let's <laughs> make history. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See the big fire blowing up. This damn 5G. Get it out of here. Who is so good up? Who is so good up? To avoid us, but it's pointless. I you can never avoid the voices of the voices. Whams. <laughs> Whams. Okay, I promised I would show how to protect yourself. So we gotta we gotta move on, but we also can't just end the show without knowing how to protect ourselves from fry fry G radiation. Well, the answer is you're gonna want some organite. It helps detoxify your body of heavy metals. And it changes the electricity in the air around you using the organite, which is a technology developed by the late Dr. Wilhelm Reich. Um, it helps to take the stray electromagnetic fields in the environment and transform them into harmful, beneficial fields. So it takes the 5G and it turns it into good stuff, good G. We're all sensitive to the Wi-Fi and, and our microwaves and all that stuff. So we get, um, you can just wear some of your Organite and that should, that should do the trick. Organites. Brief message from Naima and Tibon about. Hi, we're Naima and Tibon from Fix the World Morocco. Everyone is gearing up for the new rollout of the new wireless technology called 5G, and <laughs> it hasn't proven to be safe. Many people have been Correct. asking questions about what they can do to protect themselves from 5G. So yes. we've been putting out a series of videos to try to help Need educate and inform some the public organite. on just how to do this. That will do the there trick. are two main things that you can do to try to protect yourself from 5G that's already out in the areas and that's that's being put out more and more in the next couple of years. One is to uh, detoxify your body from the heavy metals. Now, that's going to be discussed uh, heavy metal. in another set of videos. This. But the second thing that you Metallica. can do is you can change the electricity oh, in up. the air around you and you, can <laughs> you get do approached that at the bar by these two organite you is a heard of organite uh, that was developed from the technology of the late dr wilhelm reich and basically Love this compound detox. is able to take uh, too much toxins in harmful uh, electric fields in the environment and turn it into something that is healthy so you might be wondering how organite works 
So just like Devon said, it is that composite and it actually emits ions and does a few other things to actually change the electromagnetic fields in the air around you. So to put it really simple, um, organite is something that you can just have around you in your home and on your body in order to protect you from the actual microwaves that are coming in from the 5G. Now, we're very sensitive uh, to uh, electrosmog, uh, Wi-Fi, uh, all, all these uh, different forms of electricity in the air. And that's why we started to make organite. So we used to be sensitive to it. Yeah. But right now, it's really helped us a lot. And we started making organite for ourselves and then for our friends and family. Right. And we eventually turned it into a little small business that we have where we make organite. <laughs> And ship it all around the world. Our blend of organite is able to protect you uh, against uh, 5G uh, and other stray harmful fields. And we make several products with our organite. Uh, we make pendants that you can wear on your body. Uh, we also make organite charge plates that you can use to preserve food in your fridge and also to, uh, passively structure water. We also make organite pyramids, and the organite pyramids are good to improve your property with so that you can not only transform the fields coming from uh, Wi-Fi like 5G, but wi -Fi, also from the harmful effects of chemtrails that come down on top of your home and your neighborhood. Wi -Fi, li -Fi. And then uh, we also offer organite sleeping pods, which help you get a good night's sleep. We also have uh, Garden, garden gift packs uh, of garden pucks and, and our organite pyramids for your gardens to help your plants grow uh, stronger and healthier. This is just a brief description of what we make and what we offer, <laughs> but if you go to our website, we have a different video for each one of these products that describes it completely and what they do. And we also have lots of videos that discuss the science behind organite, how it works, and why it works. And we encourage you to try it because we have some special <laughs> offers for um, a, free pendants so you can try Organite for like yourself. A farm or we just ask that you take it. And now we're celebrating our first full year of making <laughs> Organite. We make every piece by hand and we ship it all over the world. And we've gotten lots of emails <laughs> sent to us with pictures from some of our customers oh. giving us their testimonies of how much they I'm love just our products. We check our inbox every day and do our best to write personal responses to every one of our customers. If you have any questions at all about our products, please feel free to drop us an email at the email address in the link below. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. And we hope that you'll join the others to tap that bell icon. organite to help protect themselves from the dangers of 5G. Take care. <laughs> down below folks, they're gonna cook you <laughs> and they're gonna do it with invisible radio frequency emissions oh no to and in love with because wait and they're gonna do it down from what it is right now we're in the midst of a silent war they're not gonna fire a shot folks okay that was they were nice the organite people they're they're fine um they just want to do Organite. Nothing wrong with that. Although I'm sure they probably think it's all a big hoax, too. Joe! We love Joe. I'm queuing this one up for the big um, for the credits. We gotta get to that, because the show is over! No! Oh no, the show is over. We had a lot of fun. They're not saying it's gonna be a war. They just want to sell you these little trinkets and with the promise that it'll be um, help you out because of the 5G. But that's how they get it. That's how they get you. Get you into the into the dark side of the conspiracies. So anyway, uh, we'll be back next time. Ooh, we'll be back next time. Thank you, Gaia. Thank you. Thanks for watching the show. Hey, b Wolf. Mm. Stick my little finger up your bum hole. No. The cool stream. We'll be back next time, and we're going to do more weird episodes. We really, um, really started off the year with a kind of, we started slow, but we need to ramp it up. We need to get weird. We need to get crazy. That's crazy. That is crazy. More weird. 
last couple episodes haven't been weird enough. I guess the clown one was a... Uh, how about some normal stuff? Well, last... Last... Our last episode we did was on volcanoes. That's about as normal as you can get for the show. And the one before that was the clowns episode. That one was pretty weird. Um, I'm trying to get things back on track with more weirdness. Though, back to where, where it all started, which is you find some gems. And I'm not talking about the guy that sued me in a lawsuit. Gems, G-E-M-S. Check out the Coolstream YouTube. Uh, let's see if that comes up. Doesn't look like it's coming up. Yeah, you can check out the Coolstream YouTube. But how do I do, how do I show that? Uh, used to be a command for it. <laughs> um, anyway, we gotta get out of here. I gotta pull up my credits. So I'm just, just remember to do that. Um, and then we'll be gotta here. We'll be gotta here next time. There's supposed to be a YouTube command. It's not working. There it is. <laughs> Um, okay, we'll be back next time for more stuff. Check out these amazing credits. Um, I don't think we have anyone to shout out uh, on for the credits as far as any stuff going on there, but that's fine. We'll be back next time on another episode of the Q, another episode of the, the Q, Q stream. stream. We'll be seeing ya. Bye bye. Thank you for watching the cool stream with me, Wolf. This was the cool stream. Access to the web. Look at that. Ooh, it's so good. This guy. Hey, uh, we got B Wolf in the chat. What's up, B Wolf? Frequency emissions that you're addicted to and in love with.